And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our Extreme Production Series. And uh, we are working towards getting Modules and uh, Bob's Ores all ready done. So the build process completed, thank goodness. And it looks like I have one little error right there. Uh, so I'm going to need, uh, instead of walking over there, I'm going to try to take that out from here and then I can just build let those load in good old zinc so if we want to get modules up if you start looking at these so plastic and aluminum uh, copper and gold plastic and tin so there's three four five five of these that need all Bob's ores and we don't have any Bob's ores so the first one on the list is aluminum well if we look at aluminum uh, right here alumina and carbon okay carbon is derived from coal uh, which is natural uh, and so we're gonna need a we're gonna need a ton of carbon so well, yeah we could and I, I plan on doing it up here. I even put a, a radar dish up here to do it up here. However, the problem is power. I can go up and put, you know, 40 smelters up there for carbon and expect to have enough power to run everything. So I think we're going to go with a first reactor system. And I automated tanks. Uh, there they are. Uh, storage tanks because that was the last thing that needed to be done before we could automate this and uh, we should hopefully be able to fit this right in here oh for some reason it didn't place ah oh a tree a simple tree blocked my blocked it so we're gonna build that there and then we need some I need one two three of these to go in here otherwise it won't have uh, any water to convert to steam and uh, then to stretch the power out right in like that So everything else in here is automated. As you can see, the bots are they're, they're doing their best. They're, they're trying. You know, the little bot that could. And I don't know why they have this as a 20 second craft, but that's a little ridiculous, I think. Um, even the nuclear reactors are like a 0.5 second craft. Oh no, a four second craft. It takes longer to create a water pump than it does a reactor. A little imbalanced. So as the bots get their material, we need nuclear fuel. And nuclear fuel uses iron. And we don't, do we have iron? We have iron down here. We actually have iron down here, which is a blessing. Uh, so we'll go over here. Take one of these boys, and this is going to be nuclear fuel. Now I'm going to use I'm going to use requester chests. The remainder of that, I'm going to spit out a couple of provider chests, and uh, we're going to do this and this and this. So the first thing we need is 235. We don't need a ton of it, so maybe like 10. Okay, but we do need quite a bit of 238. So let's get some of that requested over here. So like 100 of that. Uh, and then we obviously need some iron. And how much iron? 10 iron. 10 iron. We don't need to craft these uber fast right now. We just need to make sure that they are being crafted. And they should be, yeah, they're in logistics range. Uh, so for now, 
I want to control how much 238, or 235, I'm sorry, 235 we're actually feeding because I don't want it to drain all my 235. We've got a couple hundred uh, in storage. So I'm going to grab the four that are in there plus these. So we're going to we're going to start with 25 235. And that's enough for I think 250. Yeah. 250. of what we're looking for. Actually, I want to I want to change this. I want only the middle ones to be my providers. Cuz the outside ones I can I can uh, use I can reach with with belts. Yeah, everybody gets charged up. And I need a couple lowly radars, which is fine. I don't I don't mind that there's radars in there. But the provider chest Where are the radars? Mark one radar. There they are. And what is that thing? Constant com. Oh, that's the other combinator that I forgot. I thought that was the switch. Uh, where are my combinators at? Over here. I knew. I knew there were three things that I needed to craft, but I wasn't sure. Uh, let's put the provider chest. I know I've got these automated somewhere. Uh, we want, again, only one. There we go. We have four constant combinators. There we go. Now we're, now we're cooking. Should get some bots coming up to pick up those. And hopefully the system will respond in kind. Uh... Obviously, we need these to be picked up. For some reason, yeah, let's see, it's picking up 17. I need those to be picked up ASAP. I don't know why it's, why it's lagging. Because once these load, I want them to make sure that they load properly that that way that all of them go right away and I think in order to do that I'm going to grab all of this 238 dump it all in there and that way the bots can go on to bigger and better things and leave the leave this little triangle alone I don't know where my where my bots are to pick these up, but they must be coming from a long ways away. Like where are these guys? Like where were they at? I'm trying to consolidate my bots here. We got 151 logistics bots, so I don't know where they are. One thing I could do to sort of reset the system, and I don't recommend doing this too much, but doing that resets them. And then I can place the provider, and boom, there they are. I grabbed a whole bunch from here too. So now they're all able to run up there. And yeah, we're doing fine with electricity right now, which is fine. But in the future, it's gonna be a little more difficult. There we go. Now they're all four going all at the same time. And it's going to take them at least a minute uh, or two to heat up to the to the proper temperature. Because, I mean, they start pretty cold. 
and they have to get to 500 degrees in order to give me any power at all. But it should last a long, long time. So I'm going to head up. Now that we're getting some power, I'm going to head up to um, thinking about this now. We're going to want some underground belt and some regular belt. I should have quite a lot of it in here. And a little bit more. And now for inserters. Where are my inserters? I'm also going to need... I've got the underground pipe. I need a couple of those. Inserters I think are down here. Yes, indeed they are. Now I can work on carbon. I'm content with the fact that that nuclear reactor setup will last a long time and we'll be able to do a lot of production and, and get get progress going quite a ways before we're going to need to revisit that. So up here on carbon, this is mining drill mark twos. We're going to need a lot of these. No, see, I don't want I don't want the coal in my inventory. Thank you very much. Not, we're not in danger of running out of coal anytime soon, that's for sure. Okay, so these last two would like... Oh, autosave. Alright, so here is where our coal is going to come out. And we're right, right in line with... Oh, right in line with that. Well, I probably have to move that. Uh, well, let's get let's get our layout first. So these need water in addition, so we need to leave a gap every other one. That's uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Hey, look at that. I actually came short of that. Okay, so when we go in here, we need to select carbon. As you can see, it needs water as an input. So we need to rotate all of these one way, and then rotate these going the other way. And we can put in the pipe. Now the connectors, we can hide right in between. And they all need to be connected. So let's stretch it out maximum, maximum length. Just to give ourselves a little bit of breathing room. And we actually have a middle here. So I'm going to branch it off from the center. And this is where we're going to feed in the water. So I made I made a water made a couple of them just in case. I don't think I think it's a minimal amount of water. Yeah, five water, not not too bad. Uh, so take the coal. Come on, there we go. Then we're gonna output the carbon. Oop out of that and I want to stretch this a ways uh, because I'm I have a feeling we're gonna need more carbon as we expand so there's a lot of lot of potential for for expansion on this I just want to make sure we're covering our bases 
and let's bring it down. I'm not sure what the layout is going to be yet. So if we look at, like this is the rail, so the rail will go above this. So it'll miss the rail, which is good. Uh, but we want to make sure we got plenty, plenty of space for processing. And right there. So now it's power time. So let's link this up there. I want to, I think we can just go with the regular low tech version of power over here. So I'd really like these to be, I'd really like this belt to be full before I kickstart this process. I want to make sure this belt is backed up and full when it comes in. Full compression. up right yep it does so there is the carbon and we want to make sure that that is nice and nice and packed in there and now we've got carbon and we I think we produce two at a time yeah we produce two at a time and it's a pretty quick craft so it, it can expand quite a bit so now we are ready to tackle like uh, the aluminum down here and uh, this is not going to be run via train so if we look at aluminum then uh, it needs alumina and carbon and alumina is sodium hydroxide that same stuff we were we were using before uh, that we we even have a trash for uh, we're gonna need some of that but we're gonna need a lot of it aluminum is one of those like sneaky resources that initially you might not need a whole lot but wow do you need a lot of it late game so I'm gonna make sure that we have a good amount of coverage going so I want, I want one there I want one here just so they can start taking out the taking out the trees out of here please please remove the trees there we go and all the construction oh they almost they almost made it past i'm guessing all of these yep all of these are coming back <laughs> uh that's funny that's really funny yeah they run out of power so fast it's insane uh, and now for the the aluminum process do I really only have nine of those left Wow so let's uh, let's start up here and I uh, will continue this process next episode because I need I need some more drills and we're gonna need a lot of let's see alumina is chemical furnace Just aluminum plate is the electrolyzer so we're gonna need a ton of electrolyzers um, so I need to get these things crafted up. We're going to do 30. 30 of these bad boys. And now I, my nuclear power. Yeah, nuclear power is going good. We're not actually using a whole lot right now. Which is fine by me.
There we go. So I don't want to put this up here because we're gonna we have the cobalt. So I want to I want to dial this one down a little bit, and then let's look at. Uh, we first need alumina, which is the bauxite, which is what we're what we're mining here, and carbon, and these are the electrolyzer recipes. So this whole setup here, we're gonna have a ton of electrolyzers on this, and this also needs that sodium hydroxide. So we're gonna have another belt coming in with sodium hydroxide because we're gonna need a ton of that too. So I need to get some stuff crafted here and get set up and then we can tackle aluminum next episode. So that'll do it for this one. And I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.